All right, so welcome back, everybody. Okay, and now that we have our <coughs> joint chains all drawn out, we're ready to go ahead here and, and actually skin our model. Um, I'm going to use this lesson just to specifically skin our model. And then the next lesson, we'll come back and start building our NARBs, carbs, and everything else that we're going to need to to go ahead and have our um, control rig here actually be able to, to move. So let's go ahead and... Um, walk through skinning our model here. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, just work using these layers that we've created um, in the last lesson. So let's just go ahead and turn off all the ones um, that we're not going to be using at the moment. <coughs> and we'll just go ahead and work our way through here. So as you can see there's a joint chain for every single um, pedal here that we drew out. And we just need to go ahead and actually skin these to them um, all individually. So what we want to go ahead and do here is just select our pedal, select our joint chain, come up to skin, bind skin, smooth bind, but let's go ahead and take a look at our options here. Um, these are not the factory settings. Um, typically you would go ahead and actually reset your settings for everything that you skin. The only thing here that I've really changed is the max influence. Instead of, I think the default is either, it's either four or five. Um, I've changed it down to three. This way I'll get a tighter version or a tighter um, skinning whenever we go to actually skin here. So we'll just go ahead and hit apply. And I'll just hit close. So now all these joints are going to be skinned to our model. And you can see that already that's going to give us a um, really nice deformation in terms of the pedal moving. Okay, so we'll just jump back a step there. We'll go ahead and select our next pedal, select our joint chain, hit G, go ahead and skin that. And I just want to make sure that everything here is um, going to be working properly, so you can see there. Just do the same thing here. Select both, hit G, select both, hit G. Just to repeat that skinning command. Select our pedal, select our joint chain, select our pedal, select our joint chain. Select our pedal, select our joint chain, select our pedal, select our joint chain, and just sort of work through the process here. You can always just select the joint chain and then select the pedal. Um, either way, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and turn those off. We'll come back with our back pedals, as you can see here, and just continue the same process here. this will just take a while um, because there is so many joints and there are um, there's a lot of geometry actually in our scene here so we're literally gonna have to skin all of these individual joints to our pedals which um, in the end is gonna give us a, a really good result for an animatable um, controllable rig there would be a lot of different ways to actually go ahead and actually um, rig this but I'm doing it this way because this is just going to give us a better result okay so the same thing here for our stems our outer stems just select the stem select the joint chain go ahead and hit G and if we go ahead and I'm going to try and grab all these joints here real quick well at least some of them and you can see where our stem is actually going to um, animate fairly well and that's what we want okay so we'll select our joint chain select our geometry hit skin we'll go ahead and turn those off select our main stem here go ahead and hit G bring in our inner stems here go ahead and skin those to the joint chains Go ahead and turn those off. Um, we're not going to be doing our face geometry because I'm going to be skinning this with the face machine for Maya. And that's going to give me um, the ability to have a ton of control whenever I want to go ahead and rig that. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that back off here. This is our teeth and gums layer. There, obviously you can see that there's no joints in this. And so we're not necessarily going to be skinning that here. Um, this is our tongue master. We probably should um, go ahead and actually rig this, and we will, um, but not for 
this current lesson because this will be one of the last things that I actually go ahead and um, skin on the character. And our pots here and our dart don't necessarily have any skinning information. So <clears throat> we're pretty much um, worked through here. So let's just go ahead and turn on all these layers and just make sure that we have everything that we need skinned. Skinned. Okay. And those all, you can tell we're those all have been skinned because the joint change of turn um, changed a different color here so let's just check to make sure that these all are looking fine and, and, and that's what we want here and even on the back ones here if we want to go ahead and um, just check here before we go ahead and start uh, building our control curves we, all we really have to do is just test one because I'll know that then these are all fine and those um, are going to look good whenever they're moving so there's the lesson on our um, <coughs> skinning and I'm going to go ahead and save this scene as well for you guys so that you can um, have this with the project files so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and begin the process of building our um, control curves for being able to go ahead and animate our rig <coughs>